Shoulder, Legionnaires, Rykon here, and welcome back to Permadeath 76. We are here with the Kira Honda, where in the last we took on the Poseidon energy plant and visited the teapot. The energy plant was, well, a lot. The event was fun, but it had us moving fast and, well, we had some pretty gnarly combat sequences. At the end of it though, Akira was still standing. And it turned out that our armor was just fine. Although, in true Rikon fashion, I spoke of a level up and how we were going to do the level up at the end of the episode and, well, I forgot. I did have a lot on my mind and, well, things were wild, weren't they? So that's going to be the first thing that we look at today. And, well, we're also going to have a look at the plant, the outside of it, to see what, if anything, we have missed in our rushing about in the last. And so, with that, Legionnaires, it is now time for us to dive on in. So, first things first, in between episodes, I did actually shuffle our cards around a little bit, and we managed to rank up one of our, I think it was the gun nut one that allows us to make modifications and whatnot. And, oh boy, this is a nice rifle. It has got a silencer on the front, a suppressor, and it's now using the long scope. So that's going to help us with clearing this thing from the outside a lot. We are going to be sticking with using our pipe revolver, but I've gone ahead and put the uh, short sight back on it. Just because in general, I feel like it was just easier to use. If we had one of the dot sights, I think that would be fine for, you know, not having a, an actual scope, but... Yeah, the, the, the two nails, the two screws were not doing it for me. So, before we actually go and take on this facility here, let's have a look at our level up and see what we have ahead of us here. So, Expert Slugger for Strength. Perception, we have Night Person. Party Girl, under Charisma. Expert Gunslinger in Perception. And under Luck, we have Lucky Break. A slight chance your equipped armor will repair itself when struck. Interesting interesting but you know that we are gonna go for perception and we are going to go not for night person but we're gonna go for one of the archery related well perk cards i think we are going to do um expert archer first so we're gonna go into that next and pretty much i feel like the next few levels are going to be this unless it's something you know crazy wild there we go that's ranked up perfectly fine we'll place it in there we still have an extra point in perception that we're not using right now but uh, it seems to be working out okay so that's our cards for now this is kind of what we are looking like yeah not a lot of endurance not a lot of charisma and endurance is tied to our health so we might want to up our endurance before too long um the agility and perception have been great but yeah we might want to get that a little higher for now though we are going to uh, start to make our way towards here and i am looking forward to actually trying out the rifle from a distance and i know we don't have any rifle perk cards but we kind of don't need them and oh really the event's going off again this is a yeah see i'm not here this for that you're still the alive? Oh, you're WV dead now. Has a yeah, has I know it did. <laughs> I guess whenever you're here, that event is going to go off. But um, hey, we've done it once. We know that the plant is fine. So let's not worry about that. We're just going to go around the outside, um, casual as, and, uh, you know, do what we want to do. Yeah, that's nice. That suppressed bullet. It's good. Where are you then, huh? Ah, up here, I see. Oh, not what we want. No siree. Okay. Can I just chest shot you? Maybe. We've got some other friends that are getting interested in us, it sounds like. Just over this way, maybe? Quite possibly. Need to remember that the uh, turrets out the front were um, troubling. Where are you then, huh? Ah, there you are. I see, you're gonna go that way or? Uh-huh. There we go. Chest shot is enough to do it with this rifle. With our sneak attack too. We'll pick up some of the pipe stuff. Uh, and what's neat is with our upgraded gun nut, we have been able to make the single action revolver. However, 
in saying that, it's uh, not that great yet. I mean, it's a good, it's a good weapon, we just don't have any modifications for it yet, so I'm hoping we'll be able to find some, you know, before too long. We can actually make a recon scope for this as well, if we get another gun nut card, so... Let's hope that we either get one, you know, from one of our level up packs, or, you know, we're just gonna have to pick it up eventually. Definitely a useful card for us to have. Okay, you didn't blow up, that's great. Take the malt off. There we go. All right, make our way up towards the top of this, taking what we can. We'll see what the uh, tops of the plant have for us. I am quite intrigued by what's going on inside of this one. I think it was Lev. Lev had a hideout there, so we don't know who Lev is yet. But maybe we'll find some information on them before too long. What do we got here? Okay, take the hammer. And the wrench. Okay, I'm pretty sure we can get screws from the adjustable wrench, which is why it's worth us taking it. I'm always going to jump over those little bits. And now that we're a little bit closer, let's maybe go to our pistol. Okay, just over there, huh? Alternatively, we could just use the bow. That's another good option for us. Bags of cement we definitely want, even though they are going to weigh us down a little bit. Hey there, friend. Actually, you know what? We can, we can maneuver our way around here. I think the biggest thing about the bow that kind of puts me on edge and off is just with it being on the opposite side to what I'm used to it being on. You know? Ah, another one of those traps. Doesn't look like it's active right now. Let's go ahead and draw an arrow back. Got another around here somewhere. Sounds like they were over here. Am I right? I am. But they might actually, I was going to say be beneath us, but no. Right here. Ooh, hi. Hello there. Do you want to pop around that corner, huh? Uh, I was going to say it's difficult for us to get with the uh, bow there. Man. See, now I'm stuck. I can't actually change weapons. That's not a good sign. Oh, wow, and that's really not great. We have only really seemed to have those issues. Okay. That wasn't me. We have only seemed to have those issues with the bow. Um, and I think it's just with the kind of sight and stuff like that. It just, um, yeah, that's concerning. In a permanent series, you really do not want something like that that's going to lock you into a weapon. No good for no one. Oh yeah, this event only has 21 minutes left on it, so I guess maybe we'll see what happens if you fail the event. Not sure. Ah. <sighs> it's quiet now at least. Apart from a radio going somewhere. Oh, a dictal. Yes, we'll take all of that, thank you. Not addicted to anything yet. And, oh, that's an actual hazmat suit. Not damaged. Well, that's that's a really nice find. Okay, I'll tell you what. The other one that we've got, we're just going to go ahead and drop because they do weigh four. Um, actually, this one weighs five. But yeah, look at that. A thousand. Perfect. I think we're pretty much almost always going to keep that in our inventory. And I think because of that reason, we could maybe get rid of the gas mask. Airborne hazards and disease. I feel like if there's hazards, we'd probably just be using the hazmat suit. Oh, we'll keep it in mind. We'll keep it in mind. But yeah, definitely worth us coming up here for that, you know. Even if that's all that we get out of this. Still more to explore though, so let's find our way up here. Oh, that was not a good plan. Yeah, it had already been done, but... Uh, we don't want to take chances with stuff like that, you know? Especially when we aren't 100% sure how the traps get reset in this. Someone's close. And I know we should be using the bow. If we're going to put points into it, we've got to practice. And hopefully I can figure out why, you know, the sight thing was happening then. Another quite close. Hi there. Oh. 
That's a turret. Yep. Sure is. Hey, friend. Yeah, I don't think we can... Yep, get that through there. That's unfortunate. Well, we can do this. <laughs> that most certainly works. Okay. Not sure what you're firing at there, friend. Let's maybe go to uh, this. Get a little closer. Okay, I can see you, but I don't think you can see me fully. Ah, damn. Actually, no, you can see me just fine. Those bullets. Nasty. Okay, well, we'll have something to eat after this. Want to play it a little bit cautious. Youch. Just a few little pops here. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're getting us around that corner quite easily, huh? Two more shots, maybe. There we go. It was one. One in the end. Okay, we're still in danger, so we should probably not eat right now. But we're okay. All's well. You sound like you're having a little bit of trouble, huh? There's a pilsner in there, sure. Out the frontier somewhere. Probably down there. We'll try and stay up near the top for now, and we'll try and have something for our health. Brain fungus soup. Yeah, start to get that back up. Have the cobbler for the XP boost that we're going to get from that. Rad roach, that fills us up, and we're looking good after that. Nice. Yeah, that's going to be a slow heal, but it will heal us up. I think there's a scorched firing down there somewhere. Got anything for us, friend? You do indeed. With this, we can see very far into the distance with our long scope. Oh, hey. Oh, I see you. I see you there, huh? Let's, um, come on. Damn, 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 damn. That's unfortunate. Just a bad angle. I can be your angle or your demon. Okay, that was us. Another just down here by the sounds of things. Let's just go to you. Uh, much further down. Right, um, we might as well go all the way up here. If we can do that without trouble. Oh, there's a crashed vertebrate up there this time. Yeah, something there, something different each time, it seems. That's cool. Up we go. <laughs> you actually gave me a fright then. It's fine, it's fine. Yeah, let's keep all of those. And I actually want to try and make sure that we keep at least one in our stash in case we decide to use something with a little bit more firepower. What the hell? Just a straight up minigun. Okay, um. Savage Divide treasure map. Mm hmm. Thank you. And I will take the Raider chest piece. Uh, hopefully, that's actually in good condition. We're going to definitely take that minigun. Uh, we need to try and take that home. And that's a legendary spooky scorched. Come on, buddy. Where you going? Where you going? Actually, can we hit you down here? We can. Not enough to kill you, though, unfortunately. That is. We're very close to another level up. Which I like to see. Okay. Where are you gonna go? To cover. But then where? Ooh, okay. Darting across. And around. Where to, friend? Where to? Let's take that. Ah, there you are. Okay, you're not the legendary. You are, though. Damn. Unfortunate. Okay. 
Okay, not enough to take you out, huh? That is. I see you. Fortunately, that uh, axe ain't gonna be able to do too much from down there. In saying that, you are making your way up. We are actually in danger now, which means that you are on your way up towards us. I didn't see you leave there, but you could be heading up here as we speak. There you are. Unfortunately, it's going to take us a lot more to um, take you out now. I think we'll be doing this. Oh, actually, no, no. Still does an okay amount of damage. Damn, you're moving fast now, though. I don't think he knows how to get to us. Yeah. Well, we can't <laughs> can't use the minigun. Don't have the ammunition for it right now. Not that we would in this instance. I kind of just want to get it and get away from here, really. I do want to clear out the front as well, but uh, not while we are stacked up like this. It'll only take us a moment to chuck down our survival tent outside. I'll tell you what. I might speed up this little encounter here because it's going to be a lot of waiting around otherwise. Well, I do not know where he's gotten to. He's still around here somewhere, that's for sure. But I do not know where. Yeah. Rads be damned. I'm going to see if I can find him. Okay, well we got a turret up on this side, so... <laughs> there's that. Let's take a few pot shots. I'm not sure if it can get us from this angle. Not easily. So let's just take that out. Yes, please. And continue the search. Oh boy. That's not great. Gas main here. <laughs> Next to a turret. Yeah, ain't great. Oh, damn. Okay. Guess we're doing this thing, huh? Oh, we can get you. There we go. Still definitely getting, like, little notifications that there's something going on around here, but, uh, no real sign of them yet. <laughs> it might just be gone, for all we know. Okay, we got another one down here. Not the same guy. Not the same guy, but... It is a spooky scorched. This one is Dracula and is dead. Okay. So we've taken you out. We'll take down everyone else out the front. And if we can do it without too much trouble, I'm happy for us to just drop down. Yeah, see, this is what got us in the last time, was the turrets out the front. And there probably was actually a spooky scorched around. Uh-huh. Maybe one more of those should do it. We'll see. Oh, we've got a Scorch camp out front as well. There we go. Any other turrets out there? I think there might be another one just around this corner, so we'll be wary of that. Hey, nice. Level 25. Special loadouts. Okay, so we can actually change on the go using the cards now. Or the, the loadout machines. Hell yes. Uh, so there's obviously a fair bit for us to have a look at there. We've got a new pack, we've got a new level up. We'll have a look at all of those things just as soon as we finish clearing the area here. Hmm. What have we got? Work for men, not for machines. So that's the protest group that's out the front of here. Okay, yeah, I bet you there's one just down there. Well, we're going to start to make our way down. I think. Just one last little sweep to make sure that this area is indeed clear of Scorched. I think we're doing okay. Ah, there we go. Hey, buddy. Not enough, huh? That is, though. Okay. I do really enjoy taking them out from a distance. So let's head around down there, see if we can't take out this other turret. I'm assuming that there is another turret there. Oh, could that be our friend? It could be. 
Let's see. Definitely hearing something, huh? No, it's not. It's just... Other friend. We're hitting the side of that, I think. Yeah. Okay. Reload. Have a little bit of a peek. Let's see. Oh, no, it was just the one turret then, huh? Oh, no, there is definitely another one around here somewhere. We heard it chirping. Where are you then, huh? Well, not for us to worry about right this second. We're very over-encumbered. Not a position that we want to be in. But here we are. Anyone else out this way? Nope, just you. Let's go ahead and drop down here. Uh, uh, it's a little bit more of a drop than I'd like, so let's do this. There we go. Down bit by bit. We'll go over to our legendary friend and grab some candy. Among other things. Speak. Oh, nocturnal ski sword. Okay. And, an and another shish kebab? Okay, I'm here for that. Nocturnal Ski Sword. Increases with the night. I mean, that's cool. That's a nice effect. Yeah. You digging for something there? Hmm. I wonder what happens if this event fails. Like, maybe we should not be near the, the plant. Yeah, I knew it. I knew there'd be one here. I felt it in my bones. Yep, very locked down from the side. Let's pick those up. Go for the bits. No bits. No bits. Okay. Yeah, we definitely want to clear out of here. In the event that things go very bad. Plus we want to see what's going on over there. Ah, all the uh, gas canisters that they had for the uh, protesters. Yeah. Okay. Here we go, just as it starts to rain, we'll pick all of that up. And start to head on out of here. Ooh, another scorched over here. Take you out, just for safe measure. Proper thunderstorm by the sounds of things. We'll head on out. Oh god, go! Wow! Shoot, that took way too long, and it's because we can't sprint. Yup, get back Akira, get back. <laughs> okay, I am going to get out of this habit. I am going to get out of this habit. It's a bad habit and it will get us killed. A hundred percent. Okay, we just need to get over towards those tents. And then, and then we're good. Yeah, we need to not be, <laughs> need to not be in comfort. Jesus, Jesus, God. Okay. I think it's only going to actually hurt us if we're right on top of it. But flipping heck. Not even seeing it. Not even seeing them there. <laughs> ah, God. Okay. Okay. Would they have mined the camp? I don't know. It's It's been a bad week for mines. Yep, I see you. I see you. looking clear <laughs> oh my god okay uh, more of the signs that we could tear apart should we desire some extra arrows for us nice thank you oh boy let's just uh, swap out to that while we're rocking around here drink the old possum delicious thank you we'll drink that as well drink all the beers okay oh can't go all the way back here, it would seem. Yep. What a time. What a time. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Coffee pots we want to take. And uh, we will see what's going on on the terminal over here. I think we're good for thirst now. Yep. Protest camp terminal. What do you got for us? Oh boy. Okay, Renee. Okay, this is from Jacob. Sorry, the bones beneath us are having a good time. The gas. The gas, does Renee. It's 
I'm doing something to everyone. I can feel it. It's like adrenaline is pumping through my body and won't stop. I just saw Cindy and Foster leap into a soldier and tear his face in half. I'm sorry, Renee. I have to stop whatever it is in the gas, or whatever the gas is doing. Timmy, I hope you're safe in there. I love you. Associated Miners Union. Yeah, and I'm guessing this was uh, Jacob here. And that was the pipe pistol, right? Yes. Yes. Hmm. Okay. What else we got here? Steel workers uniform. We already have that, so we won't worry about taking it. Okay. Yeah, we'll take the tray. Melt that down in just a moment. What a day we've had already. Rough start. Oh yeah, we failed that. Episodian energy. I guess the event's just over. I hope that's the case. I, I do want to actually get a distance away now, just in case there is anything um, wild or wacky that happens there. Hey, buddy. Well, look, I'm going to jump down here, if you don't mind, and let's see if we can chuck down our trusty handy dandy survival tent. Okay. All right. I'm going to take a moment here, scrap some things, and prepare to continue on. <laughs> Okay, everything is nice and stashed. It's now time for us to level up. So, let's check this perk pack and see what we have access to. Alright. Uh, double on party girl. Okay, well, sure. Not the best opening ever, but I'm pretty sure we know what we're going to go into now. But we'll see what we have access to outside of that. Expert Commando, under Perception. Expert Gorilla, under Agility. And that's that, actually. That's that's all that we got. So I think what I want to try and do this time is I actually do want to point in Endurance, for sure, because, um, yeah, I feel like having more health is going to be good. So we're going to choose Endurance, but then I'm going to go ahead and filter and change out and go and pick up yet another. I think that's going to take us up to three. Let's see. We'll accept, and it will be doing the maximum at that point. We'll be doing the 20% extra damage. If we max out Archer, it's going to be 40% overall. So, Expert Archer 3. Okay, let's go ahead, get that equipped. Nice. Okay, so we are all set there. Endurance, we do have an extra point though, so I'll think about what we want to put in there. I think we're going to go for Solar Powered, this and that's that starting up again. Repeat. Yeah. So I think that Decided must occur pretty regular. Ah, it'll be fine. Please it'll be fine. And await further instructions. Yeah, so, um... Poseidon Energy Plant Yard. Okay, so that's... Ah, okay. Hmm, we could try and secure that. I mean, we've done most of the work already. So we could see about just finishing it off. Indeed, my friend. Indeed. We're trying to avoid those rads, believe me. But yeah, I think if we just pop along here, try and see if we can get up and out of here. Actually, you know what? We might not be able to. Yeah, that bridge across might be our best bet, so let's have a look at doing that. We're getting a little closer to some of the other destinations that we're wanting to check out. Around we go. Let's try and not get too close to them if we can. Easy does it. Raider over here. Take him out before he sees us. Not enough, huh? Not enough. Damn it. Let's get a little closer. There we go. What do you have? Sure, I'll take it. We're not going to take the shotgun right now. We're getting, uh... Too low, too often. And... I don't see us using shotguns that much. I mean, that might change in time. Yeah, I don't think so. Let's take it easy on this bridge as well, just in case it's mined. We'll kind of stay off towards the side. That, I think, is the uh, work area. <laughs> I'm very wary about the front now and mines that might be there. I think it was this little area out the front that we might be able to secure. 
Jeez, 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 jeez. Oh, yep. <laughs> okay. Okay. They got a lot of mines around here. We know it now. We're weary of it. And that's what we're after, so... I am not seeing any. Let's go a little closer. It's incredibly damaged. Is that an active? No? Gun emplacement. Huh. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Interesting. That's cool. Like that. Okay. So, that... Ah, uh, that's our workbench. Okay. We need to clear this area first. But I... Yeah. Can't activate it until it's cleared. And let's just have a look at the map real quick. Because that can actually tell us what we can get from here as well. Fusion core, aluminium, concrete. The concrete I am most certainly interested in. So I'd love to be able to place that down. Wherever the extraction point for that is. Hey there. Goodbye. And I believe it will tell us when we have actually cleared the area out. Another thing that we can do real quick is if we just pop back into here. Oh. You're a lot closer than I thought. Where are you then, huh? Holy crap. That gun emplacement is, uh, doing things. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, I was gonna say... <laughs> that we can just, um, disable the other quest. That might make it a little easier for us. And then we go to claim. Yep, okay. Cool. So, it is clear for now. Let's claim it. Yes, please. It is now ours. So, with that, I'm going to have a little bit of a run around, see what we can find here, what points that we can actually harvest from, and uh, get those harvesters placed down. Okay, first one over here, and uh, what are we looking at? It's a gravel. Okay, gravel pit. Sure. Yeah, we'll harvest a gravel pit. Okay, so, let's have a look and see. Okay, so, I believe, theoretically, when it's green like this, it's being, um, the resources are coming from here. I think that's meant to be the case. Not 100% on that, not 100%, but, yeah. We're gonna go to our generators as well. We should have a few of these stored. I think. Well, it does say zero built. I feel like that's a lie. But also, yeah. Not sure. Well, we got the first one active. Go around the rest, see what else we can find. Oh, power up the fusion core processor. Ah, we need a hundred to be able to do that. Hot damn. Okay, well, I mean, honestly, we don't really need much in the way of fusion core, so I'm not stressing about that one. Okay, lead over here. We'll take the pieces that we can and we'll place down a processor. Or rather, a harvester. There we go. Okay, looks like we are going to have to defend this place. We've got about a minute to do it. I've been kind of meaning to make a blueprint for a basic kind of defense for us. I don't know what we're going to be defending from exactly, but I'm tempted to jump on top of here if we can, just so we can get a little bit of elevation, and then we'll just kind of keep our eyes peeled. If it's scorched, we should be okay. All right, let's get up somewhere high. All right, I'll be honest, I decided against staying up on something for now, just because I want to stay mobile. We've got two things that are quite far away from each other right now, so we're just going to keep our eyes open for trouble. Grafton monster. Oh crap. Okay, okay. That's that's not what we're fighting. We're fighting liberators right now, but uh, yeah, that doesn't look friendly. Come on. Get you through here. And you... Hi there, friend. Hello? Oh, is it a settler helping us? It is. Uh, I'll try and help you too, if I can. Sorry, sounds like you're not having a great time. My bad, my bad. Be going after the turret. Take you out, and you. There we go. And that's the only wave. Ah, uh, hmm. Grafton monster. 
that was a thing. We'll keep our eye out for that, but uh, yeah. We got a reward out of that, molded plastic and some other re- Blah! Okay. <laughs> My mind was melting in. Uh, rare resources was what I was trying to say. Uh, alright, I'm gonna keep on trying to work on this place. Okay, uranium over here. And there's the settler. Who... Okay, I can hear it. I can hear it. I think our turret is still active over here. I'm gonna just try and move around the side right now. We've got another turret over here. If I can get that active, then I think we might be okay. I have no idea what this monster is, but um, I don't like it. Yeah, the green, I'm, I'm not 100%. I, I have been advised that that does mean that um, generally, that it's coming from here, resources that are available here. Not sure, not 100% on that. But I want to see what this monster is, and maybe we can bring it between these turrets. Might be a possibility. Okay, that's, uh, strange. Oh, I see you. Grafton monster. Okay, i tell you what. We're going to go ahead, we're going to use some psycho, we're going to use some medics. And... I'm going to try and shoot it in the face. I don't know where its face is. Okay, that, that didn't do much. That didn't do much at all. That really didn't do much. Okay. We're still just being cautioned. Can you throw rocks? You can. Oh, no, you throw big things of sludge. Okay. Still just being cautioned right now. Getting some good sneak attack damage. Like that. Also like how tall this thing is. It makes it a little easier for us to do stuff like that. Can you just jump up over the edge? I don't think you can, which leaves us in a pretty good position here. Okay, I'm gonna try and see if we can maybe chuck a frag over the edge at you. Let's just go a little like that. And, oh, now that's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be air explosion. That's unfortunate. I've got so many frags at home. That I'm kind of okay with just chucking one over here and Seeing if it rolls down towards it. Okay, um... Another option is, uh, we could Molotov it. Yep, uh, I don't think we have any Molotov set right now. Let's go back to the throwing knife. Okay, a little bit further away. Still have Psycho on. Surely you're not going to one-shot us if you hit us with your goo, right? Okay, that just hit the wall. Hey, buddy. Oh, yeah, we're in danger now, so... Keep that in mind. <laughs> no more point in sneaking. Hey, buddy. Yeah, we're just going to keep on peppering it like that. See if oh actually yeah that, that no not what I wanted to do actually ooh, ooh, no hit the side okay we're good mm -hmm. lead you over this way ah I went too far that's fine backing up let's reload I'm sure this thing would be terrifying given we weren't fighting it like this. Even so, you are a little troublesome to hit. Do not fall down, Akira. Do not fall down. Okay. It's gonna launch its stuff at you. There we go. Nearly. There we go. Monster killed. And we are gonna go down to that in just a moment. But I wanna complete... actually... Let's quickly jump down now. We can always jump back up again in a moment. Alright. Grafton Monster. What do you got? Quite a bit, actually. Damn. Okay, we'll take all of that. And we'll try and make our way back up. The best way I can. Which I think is going to be going this way for now. We've got a uranium extractor to put down. And hopefully, I'll find the concrete one before too long, and we can continue on with our day. Ah, yeah, 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 okay, so, 
I've continued placing them down. You can see that the gears and the screws aren't green anymore. Okay, so some of this process is free for us, which is, uh, that's ah, cool. And I believe this is our last one. Oh, aluminium. We still haven't found concrete. Interesting. Ah, you know what? I think I figured it out. The gravel, we probably produce concrete from that. So I'm going to go around. We're going to collect uh, a little bit of the scrap that we've made so far, but I'm going to come back here at the end of today's episode to pick up the, uh, well, the harvest. All right, so next up for us is studying Dr. Hudson's research. We're going to be winding our way around like this, um, you know, working our way through all these locations. We're probably going to go stop by the railway crossing over. up here first. Building this place up is hard work. Yes. Yes, it is. But that's what we're looking at. And um, I I don't know how severe this is going to be. Um, also, hitting level 25, I don't know if we have access to new weapons and whatnot or new levels of weapons. It's a possibility that we do. So we'll keep that in mind if it seems like things are, you know, a little too much for us to take care of just looking at this area here just all of the uh, dirt that slid down the uh, I'm not sure what the word is for them yeah it's escaping me right now but uh, yeah it's it's like a massive landslide almost all the way across here down where I imagine sewage and whatnot would have been running. It's not a ravine. It's, uh, yeah, it's not going to come back to me. That's okay. Sometimes you just got to let go. Uh, but looking at this, few structures around here. RR. Okay. I thought it was a railway crossing. Oh, maybe. Oh, Charleston train yard. Okay. Well, I guess we'll check out the train yard first. Sounds like we have some liberators clonking around inside there. Oh, hi. Ha, you're outside as well. Hot damn. Okay. I think the others have heard at least a little bit about us inside. Okay. We'll take your bits and bobs. We'll check the train, char train cars before we go in. New Appalachia Railroad. Okay, hey, what have we got? Ballistics fiber. Yes, please. Okay, well, that's our door in over here. So we'll have a look at taking that. I don't know if that's actually going to take us inside the cell. Could just be ones that we're hearing on the roof. Let's see. Uh, oh, no, it's just an unlock. Okay, well, let's uh, try and do that. Lots of noises going on. And we are in. Okay. Yep, immediately have a friend here. Okay, I think this is probably going to be the best weapon for us to use in here. God, it's dark though, huh? Yep, I know sneaking with my light on isn't always the... Uh, well, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but sometimes you need to. Uh-huh. <laughs> Damn, quick draw on that one. Another one around the corner. Another two. Okay. Bugger off. Mm-hmm. Come on. That's my bad. My bad. Can't get that leg. There we go. Quieten down. Oh. Time for us to heal. Thank you. Don't think you can get us from this angle, huh? Oh no, you you definitely can. Okay. Take some bits and pieces. Tape two. Okay. Up there, huh? Alright, let's go through a lot of them down here. Grab the scrap. Okay, you're in there. Okay. Take that, thank you. I think that was the one that had extra stuff. Okay. 
check this door. Okay, just another way into where we came in from. Okay. Good to know. Nothing on that. Let's hop on across. Might be able to get sight on them. We're just going to have to stay in the dark just for the time being. Got an armor bench over there. Looks like we're just going to be working our way up towards the top. Got my eyes open for trouble. All good stuff. Door has been unlatched. It's our way out, should we want it. Up we go. I think we'll be able to get down to that area. If we head out here first. Hell yeah. Let's make sure that we're fresh. Could take a sledgehammer, but I will take all of that. in here or on top of here hey 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 taking all of that thank you it's very reminiscent of the original well I guess it's not at all <laughs> it's just destroyed room I was gonna say it's yeah it reminds me a little bit of the um, initial bedroom in Fallout 1 one? Yeah, it wasn't one. I'll take that, thank you. Try to be a little bit more selective, and let's go for some chems. What have we got? Oh, melon. A, just a melon, or a chem called melon? Not sure. Um, bicycle. And we've got ourselves a safe. And a terminal, okay. Like to crack both. Start by reading bicycle. Jake, I'm telling you. I've never felt better since I started using the bike. Yeah, I know we're trained people, but I'm just going into the city and back. I feel the healthiest I've ever been. Swear. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Let's open these two. Ooh, okay, all right. Uh, the switchblade, we'll take. I don't know if we're gonna get any other modifications for it though. And we're into it. Okay, and it's just the save control. I mean, hey, it was still a thing that we needed to unlock, so that's all right. And that's the bike in question. Amazing. Wonderful. Let's see what else we got around here. Not a plan, but a letter of resignation and bottle cap sunglasses. I mean, it's a look. What have we got? Got a job at vault -Tec. They say they want my expertise if America ever needs to rebuild the railways. Gonna miss you all, I'm serious. Railroads and my family go back over five generations. It's been an honor to be here. I'm sure. Oh, um, all right, let's see what we got. 50 caliber. Okay, interesting tool case to have in a railway yard. Obviously been left here since the fall of all of this. It's getting a little darker out as well. And, uh, yeah, I don't know how big and how bad this whole quest is going to be over here, but it might be a little bit much for us to try and uh, get that all in today. Actually, in saying that, no, that's a different location. Maybe we can check that out. Yeah, it's on our list of possible things. We didn't find a way down, did we? Oh, that's a uh, fall that I don't want to take. Yeah, let's have a look over the edge this side. No. Yeah, I didn't find a way. Huh. Actually, we haven't checked this. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's barred. Right, okay. Well, there's definitely something we're missing here then. Let's just have a little bit of a look around this way. Yeah, nothing else. Okay, it's got to be inside somewhere, so I'll keep my eye out. See what we can do. Oh, we can just walk up from that side. Somehow I missed that before. Yeah, there we are. We'll be taking that, thank you. And not locked. Take all of that. We'll do some scrapping before we leave here, but for now we'll just head on upstairs. 
see what we got going on here. Some folks living. A known recipe. Yeah, we'll take the eggs. And the food. I tried to keep all, you know, non-perishable food back at home. Just so that we always have something to eat. Anything that's non-perishable, we take on the road with us. Or rather, the other way around. Anything that's perishable, we keep on the road with us. Anything that's non-perishable, we take home. Yeah. Um, automated train. Scaring people, apparently. And a shipment from Dolce. Ah, hmm. Yeah. It was the, uh, it was all of these guys, the Liberators. They must have popped out of a container somewhere. Started attacking people. We'll take your nuka, thank you. Delish. What else we got on this side? Well, it goes up that way. Probably to where the door is barred. Type T fuse. It's used for some kind of quest, so I'm glad that we found it now. Hell yeah. We'll take the weapon as well. Yeah, baseball, sure. Stim pack, definitely. We'll pop up the top. That's the bar door. Okay. Doesn't seem to lead to much else. Here we go. Alright, so we do have a little bit of time left. I reckon we're probably going to check out these locations over here before going in after the research. 15 minutes. Hmm. You know what? We're going to go for this. We're going to go for this. It might mean that we have a longer episode, potentially. But it is our main goal. There are definitely some locations for us to explore out here. But if things go well in here, then, uh, well, we'll be able to do that afterwards. Let's see. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Don't mind me. We're just having a moment. There we go. Let's see if you had anything worthwhile for us. You kind of do. Probably should have done some scrapping before we came in here. Who do we have out the back here? Let's have a look. Interesting. We found a few people like this. Yeah. Hmm. What were you doing out here? Hey, we've got a few scorched out here as well. Yeah. I guess if they were doing research on the scorched, no doubt there would be others here. And a supply vending machine. Open. Yep. Okay. All right. I think you're still alive. Let's knock that. And no, apparently not. Huh. Looks like you had a little bit more color left in you. You want to stop walking there? Hey there. Being cautioned. Just going to keep this drawn back just for a little bit here. Don't want to start a full-blown gunfight if we can avoid it. Oh, you were alive. I knew it. We must have just hit something else by accident before. Yeah. Hmm. We're all nice and hidden now, Akira. Let's stay that way for now. Come on. There we go. Alright. That we like. Alright, so we are here for Hudson's research. How bad is it going to be here? How bad is it going to be? Only one way to find out. Take our arrow. We'll pick up a few things while we still can. Terrible service. Okay. That's for us, thank you. And I wouldn't mind taking your uh, clipboard. Footsteps above. Does. Okay. Just clearing the way. Like we do. And let's change back to you. Just to be 
safe. It's a very wrecked elevator. Okay, our sneak is quite good in here, considering as long as we're in shadow or even dim light, they really don't seem to notice us. Maybe their senses aren't quite as good as the norm. Didn't see you all the way over there. Okay. Let's try that, huh? Ah, over your shoulder. I'd like to go for you if we can. Let's move in. Fire axe. A little on the heavier side. Oh, we actually have a ghoul in here. Interesting. Head in the oven? Hmm. Okay, I'm just having a quick look to see if we have any recipes in here. Don't see any, I think. Ah, there was one, but we already know it. And someone's getting close. So we know what we're gonna do. Damn it. Don't tell your friends. Yeah, that's better. That's better. We'll just stay in the darkness. Okay, you're coming around the side. I see you. I don't think we can get you from the Zan Ghoul. Oh. That works for me. That works too. Hello. Too late. See, I love the bow for this. This is this is what I was envisioning, you know. Okay, that's fine. Put it away for now. Okay, onwards we move. Big old cafeteria. Right. Guess it's good to stay on target if we can in here. Obviously wanting to explore all the areas, but uh, not drift aimlessly. Probably didn't even need to take that ammunition. Yeah, really not so bad so far. Sure, that can change though. All right. Yes, please. Okay. Carry on around this side. Still a few areas that we haven't explored down below. Yeah, that works. Let's see what we got. And we are in. Okay. Oh, very bright in comparison. Apologies for your eyes. Carrying capacity is still okay for now. We can boost it up a little bit too, should we need to. Or you can go right down, should we desire. It's one of our arrows. Let's not take our eye out. We can go down that way as well. I think there's more that we haven't yet seen over this side. So we'll be sure to check that out, I think, before going anywhere else. If I have a chance to take someone out, though, I will. A few of them just fully crystallized here. We'll go ahead and munch on that hot dog. Okay. Over this way we go. Check the stalls. Alright, we're good. check out these rooms, but I want to take out that one there. There we go. Cautioned. There could be others in the room. Just saw them go down. Saw them drop. We're okay for now. Let's just do our general search. Lounge. 
storage area. Getting close to Max Rikon. Be careful. Nice and close now. Where are you? Just over here. Yep. And over here. Above? No, here. Alright. Keep those ears wired. Sure. Check those mirrors. No, okay. Big facility. Knew it was going to be large. Wasn't expecting quite this though. Microscope is certainly useful, but a little too heavy for my liking right this second. Hey, we got some buff out. I mean, how long does buff out last for us? Let's have a look and see. Uh, that's our buff tats. I don't know. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. We'll take it for now, though. A little bit of extra health. Carrying. That's good. Enough to take those dispensers. Light on for a moment. Good place to get meds. Just wind our way through these rooms for now. Jangles. Good to see you. I think the dispensers are pretty good for us, from memory. Okay, and we'll take the bone cutter. Would like to find a bench now. We will see. Main hallway. Okay. We heading up again? Yeah, I suppose so. Ah, uh, we haven't checked out here, right? These are the ones that we took when we came in. Sure. Ah, what's the code then? We don't know it yet. Might find it elsewhere. Got someone wandering around. See if I can find them. There you are. Okay, not in here. So we can put that away for now. Save our arrow. <sighs> Nearly completely over encumbered. So we don't want that to happen. We're not going to pick up anything else. Ah, good. Now we don't need to worry. <laughs> Let's just ease our way around here do some scrapping. Alright, that helped a lot. Stay on the move over here. Double check this. Duct tape, hell yes. Okay. And that's kind of the end of the line on this side. I don't think we checked over there yet, so start to move. I think we should be able to do that relatively freely. That's our elevator that we saw on the bottom floor. Eyes open up that way. I see you. There we go. Okay. Ooh. AVR medical. Responders field report, Maria Chavez. Ah. Being here at AVR medical really brings back memories. Maria. My mother worked at this place for years as a nurse. When I was a child, back before the war, I got sick for days. Supply shortages had driven the price of medicine beyond what we could afford. Lucky for us, my mom wasn't just a nurse, but also a natural green thumb. We had a garden with all kinds of herbs and flowers. She treated me with homemade herbal remedies. Today, disease is rampant. There are countless viruses and bacterial infections out there, and we need a way to deal with them. I was 
hoping I might find something here to help treat all the sick and injured refugees we've got back at the airport. But, um, fortunately, the place has been picked pretty clean by now, and Shoot. there isn't much left. So, having had basically no luck in this creepy abandoned hospital, I decided to turn instead Beta. to my mother's wisdom. I, I put together some herbal tea recipes that should mitigate the symptoms of the more common sicknesses. Yes, it's not a cure, but it's something. Okay, well, I, nice. I think I'll wrap this up. I guess I'm off to pick some flowers. Indeed, indeed. Ah, and we have a safe to unlock. See, now we've got the same kind of thing that we had happening earlier, and it's a symptom of the bow, like just having issues. I think if we swap out and then go back in, any luck? Ah, there we go. Let's get this thing unlocked. There we go. What have we got in here? A lot of things, actually. We'll take them all, and I would like to see if we can hack this. Let's try. And we are in. Okay. Safe control, not going to worry about that. Internal mail. Annual happy hour is coming up. Mm hmm. Concern recently had come to your attention. Apparently, some of the staff seem to think the food we prepare in the hospital is not up to standards. Inedible slurry. I see. And our final one here. Everyone stay calm. We've all heard reports by now about the bombs. I know this is scary, but everyone coming through these doors is counting on us to help them. Stay calm, stay professional, stay safe. Ah, how did that all go for you? Not well. Judging by, uh, well, everything that's going on here at the moment. Okay, well, I think we've pretty much cleared this side out. Yes. Yes. Actually, no. Stolen the supplies. How did I miss that? Did I not come? I mustn't have come all the way down here. Stolen the supplies. Okay. Lorene. You were right to have me inventory the prescription drugs locker. Turns out we're missing three boxes of painkillers. Ah, changing the code to 011986. Okay, uh, let's let's take this. Let's take this. Okay, that's good. That's good. We can get into the uh, place that's just down there. I want to just clear the rest of the top floor first, though. So we're going to head down this way. Start sneaking just in case. Could still be other squashed around. Oh, no, that's just more elevator. Okay, well, I guess that's that then. It's decided. We're going to be heading back downstairs and going to... I think it was over this side. Here we go. 00186, I think it was. I mean, let's just try it. 011086, I think. Nope. Okay, let's try. Have a read. 011986. Okay. 0... One one nine eight six. Okay, we are in. We are in. Good. Got some radics, blood packs. Check the top. Right away down here. Okay. I'll turn that light on. Why not? Okay. Dictol. Sounds like someone's on this level. We just can't find them. Yeah. We're actually going to be hitting down now. I think. As long as we can find a way down. We've seen a few through the floors and we might have to take a route like that. Let's put light off just for now. Let's see. We haven't opened up this. Ah, that's to the outside. I see. Another way in. Right. Okay, this is our way down. And it's actually the way we need to go as well to do the study. There we go. Easy does it land on top of the fusion reactor. Good as always. I'll just go ahead and open this up. That's our staircase back up. Good. It's going further down. Uh, just before we do, let's clear the space. Make sure that we're not missing out on anything worthwhile. Hey, buddies. Well, let's just um, do a little bit of this, huh? There we go. As long as they're not diseased, it's okay. 
chance to get a core here, I imagine. Or not. Nope, it's just damaged. And that is locked up for now. I think we can hack it. Yeah, it could be worthwhile. Let's see what we got. And there we go. Security door control. What do we have inside here? Braxo cleaner. Pack of duct tape. Absolute luxury. A few general supplies. Kind of expecting like one really good thing to be in here, but maybe the duct tape was the reward after all. A gold fork ain't nothing to um say no to. Well, okay. <laughs> really not that much. Okay, and I think with that... Ah, no, we can actually see into here. Well, let's go nice and slow. See if we can pop you. Okay, and drop. Got our chem station here. And break down those microscopes should we desire. What do you got for us? Uh... Yeah, sure, we'll take everything. Compensated handmade. Oh, that's like the AK. Well, that's an interesting looking weapon. <laughs> it sure as hell is. And that's us over encumbered. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. Ooh. All right. That's the terminal we're after. Um, you know what? I think just before we do that, in case something wild happens, um, we're going to go ahead and scrap our stuff over here. Just for safety's sake. Scrap all that junk, and we're good after that. Okay. Hmm. What is that? Is it just a light? Yeah. Anyway, distractions aside. Let's see what we got. Inoculation Project Overview. Okay. Method is extracting a blood sample from three candidate creatures observed to be more resistant to scorched mutagenic effects. Use blood sample analysis to create synthetic antibodies. Candidate creature feral ghoul. So that was the one that was downstairs. Project stalled until replacement T-fuse can be acquired. And we found that already, which is great. Request filled with the responder's quartermaster to obtain replacement. Let's have a look at the journal. We've had a few here, so there's going to be a bit of reading. As I said, this is going to be a longer episode. Ah, here we go. This is from Dr. Claire. We're too late. I failed. Was on the radio with Maria just now. She's never seen so many scorch beasts. She has the sky above the airport's dark with them. They're not attacking. Not yet. Waiting on their scorched foot soldiers to arrive, maybe. Clever bastards. And of course, we're scraping the bottom of the barrel on ammo and stems, so this couldn't come at a worse time. So, what the hell do I do now? Down here alone, I might eventually be able to finish this vaccine. I can't help the fire breathers anymore, but someday the vaccine will save lives, assuming everyone, anyone's left. If I can make it back to the airport, I could save lives today, or maybe tomorrow, or whenever the battle comes. And it will come. Shit, I can't stay here might be suicide trying to make a trip back on my own, but I can't turn my back on everyone I care about. Not when they need me most. Not when I'm the one who failed to play her part in our plan to stop the Scorch before it came to this. Hmm. October 20th. Damn it all. So close and yet I'm stuck. Jeff's been out on foraging missions pretty much around the clock, and I can't get in touch with him to request help with the blood sample or the replacement fuse. The fire breathers are almost ready for the big operation, and I've got nothing to give them. If they take on the Scorched without being inoculated first, I fear what might happen. I have to confront the possibility that I might never get the chance to finish this work, but maybe someone else can. These journal entries should serve as a guide. I'm thinking I could also rig up the symptomatic to play a message to anyone that's to administer the inoculation once it's done. That way, if the worst happens, I can at least leave some kind of signpost to help others benefit from what we've learnt, to help them survive, if, if maybe I don't. Okay, on to September. Thank God for automation. I am one woman doing the work of a small research team. Ah, well, we're not going to be able to do the energy plant. Not now, unfortunately. If not for computers and machinery here, this project wouldn't have a chance. Speaking of the project, the creature that showed the most resilience to the Scorch Plague are the Feral Ghouls. If I can get a blood sample from one, 
it'll be a simple matter to load them into the centrifuge and run the analysis program. With the resulting data, synthesizing antibodies should be pretty straightforward. So we do need to get a blood sample from a feral ghoul, I see. Add the synthetic antibodies to the suspension fluid and presto, instant scorched vaccine. Then it's a simple matter of waiting on the phone about my noble prize for medicine. That's the good news. The bad news is this old symptomatic machine. I powered it on and the damn thing blew a fuse right away. Jeff thinks there might be some type T fuses at the old train yard nearby. Ha, <laughs> okay, well that was lucky we went there. Hopefully he can send someone to check soon. To hear Maria tell it, those boys in the fire breathers unit are itching to take the fight to the scorched and they're counting on my inoculation to protect them. August. Short entry today. Why? Because I really only did one thing, and it wasn't research. No, my day was spent hiding from a pack of scorch that invaded the hospital this morning. Most of them stayed up on the ground floor, but a few of them wandered down here. It's a good thing I heard them because I barely had any time to hold up in the closet when the, they started searching around the lab. It occurs to me that we know almost nothing about the scorched. What motivates them? Do they eat? Why are they hostile towards everything that isn't one of them? Eventually, the Scorch moved on, and by eventually, I mean nine hours later, I never want to set foot in a storage closet again. I've been reading in reverse yet, a yet again, um, because for some reason, I figure the earliest entry is going to be at the top. It's never the case. <laughs> Making good progress overall, at least with the preparation, got the analysis program finished, and then after no small amount of yelling, cursing, and kicking things, I finally got the terminal and the symptomatic talking to each other. Well, that's a mischaracterization. It would be more correct to say that I got the terminal to scream orders at the symptomatic, and I got the symptomatic to obey them. Now I pour over hundreds of first-hand accounts, personal observations, and other information worth gathered to how the Scorched Plague has been affecting the local wildlife. If I'm lucky, a tenth of it might be useful. So, now we come to it. The crux of my theory. If I can identify the creatures that seemed least affected by the Scorched Plague, then maybe, just maybe, I can figure out why. Then with luck, synthetic antibodies might not be far behind. And the first entry. Here we go. One brave doctor taking on the mysteries of the Scorched. How heroic. Truth is, I'm alone. I'm more than a little terrified, and I'm skeptical that this whole idea will even work. I think the fundamentals are sound enough, but once I start analysing the Scorch DNA, who knows what I'll find. At least I can be grateful we found this lab. It has everything we need, provided I can get all the equipment working. Hey, I got this terminal reprogrammed, and that's a good start. Speaking of which, I better start writing the analysis program. No time to... Damn, there's a scratching noise again thought we'd cleared the place out, but I swear there's something moving in the up levels. Guess they better get to work fast. Yes, so, um, I don't know if we did get a sample from that ghoul. Yeah, um, we've kind of got everything else we need, though. The T-fuse, we can go ahead and replace. And it's just the sample that we need from the ghoul now. So, I'm going to run back up towards that one that was at the top, and uh, see if that's actually what we need. Okay, we've still actually got some scorched moving around in here. Sounds like. In here? Yes. Well, that's unfortunate, isn't it? <laughs> and even more so. There we go. You actually look like a nurse. Kind of. Yeah. Well, still trying to track down that body. Well, I tell you what. I haven't been able to find that body, weirdly enough, but we might be able to do kind of two birds with one stone. If we head back outside, we might be able to make it back to our place to defeat the feral ghouls that are there and get a sample from them. So we're going to hoof it on back. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that. That is wild. Okay, there's enough ghouls there for us, that's for sure. Um... You know what, I think if we can get close enough, we might be able to hit them with a frag. I'm kind of tempted to try that. Just hoof it from there. That was definitely in their general direction, so that might have actually got a few of them. Oh wow, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, we are gonna go around. We are gonna go around. We're not fighting that monster, not now, no siree. 
Okay, we've got Molotov selected now. As, uh, I think we might still get a chance to use them. Having a look from back here, though. Oh, yeah, we got a lot of them there. A lot of them there. You know what? We could probably just do a little bit of this. I know it's not the, uh, the funnest way to do it. Oh, wow, there's just so many of them. That is, uh, that's a lot of ghouls. And they're kind of just destroying everything. Yep, they're destroying everything. <laughs> I don't know if I can actually hit them from back here. Making a mess. Um, the extractors seem to take quite a bit of damage before they go down, though, so... We've got that going for us. Yeah. This is gonna take a while, Kira. Plenty of ghouls to try and take down. Oh, we're actually in danger now. Hi there, buddy. Hi, hi, hi. Don't mind me. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's a little bit more of a problem. Now, in general, ghouls ain't all that strong. Oh, we obviously, ideally, won't get hit by them. If we can avoid that. Blood samples? Blood samples, huh? Oh, just space to collect a blood sample. Well, okay, there's that. I suppose we might as well try and um, clear the place. Because then we can get our resources back. Which is what I intend to do. So we'll go ahead and pop the rest of them that are here. Yep. Just popping ghouls. I mean, this is Akira's favourite subject, so... I, uh... Don't blame her for sticking around. Oh, hi there. Yep, let's swap out. Yep, swap out any moment now. There we go. Finish them off. Light bulb, huh? And you? Let's go ahead, swap back to throwing knives. There we go. <laughs> Just like the old days, Akira. Two more. Lots of them, looks like. Oh, holy sh Okay, out of that, please. Out of that. <laughs> Let's not do that, huh? Oh, okay. Okay. Yep, another gold lighter. Thank you. And... Go for you. Oof, okay. That's most of them. I think there might still be a few hanging around... ...our actual... ...useful stuff. Oh, hi. Okay. You're one of the last ones, huh? Ow. I will take that psycho. Actually, we'll take everything. Bar the food. Let's get a little closer. Toothpaste. We'll take our pin. Well, we got a blood sample. <laughs> now, I should. I should finish things here. I should. But, if I do that, everything will respawn there in the next episode. So while it makes sense... Oh, there's super as well in between here. I'm gonna go ahead, harvest what I can from here. I'm gonna place that stuff away, and we got rewards for defending this place. That's good. Um, yeah, they take, these take a lot of damage to take out. It's a lot of scrap too. Okay, we're gonna gather what we can, and then I'm gonna head back over there see if we can make that damn inoculation. Okay, we have made it back here. That's the centrifuge. Let's get them loaded. And that's that, yeah? Over towards this. Analyze the blood. Okay. Let's see what we've got. Okay, it's doing its thing. Ready for inoculation. Oh boy. Yep. Use the symptomatic. In we go. Oh boy. Okay, a few quick jabs. This is Dr. Claire Hudson. Oh. And if you're hearing this, it means you must have completed my work and inoculated yourself. Yeah. The next step is to find out if our elite anti-scorched unit, the fire breathers, are still alive. Uh-huh. You can find them at the Charleston Fire Department. Damn. The fire breathers need to know the vaccine is ready. If they didn't make it, then you're going to need their weapons to stay alive. 
Uh huh. Wow. Okay. Lots of stuff there. And uh, look at us. Look at this thing. I didn't even know that was an armor piece. Exterminator's Trapper's Chest Piece. Okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's really cool. Hmm. Well, <laughs> what an episode. What an episode. Join the Fire Breathers. Lots of things to do. And I think that's... Is that gonna... Oh, that's actually really close. Okay. Maybe that's our next step there, then. There's still so much for us to see and do in this region. We're kind of spoilt for content, really. For now, Kira, let's take a moment. And that Legionnaires is us for the day. What a doozy. Quite the episode. Lots happened. And there was lots to read as well. So I'd like to thank every single one of you that has stuck around to the end of this. We're now inoculated against the Scorched. We can take the fight to them something that I'm sure Kira is salivating over. The Scorched are very similar to ghouls for her. Both are now her prey of choice. And we'll see what the Fire Breathers are all about. But that'll be in the next. Thank you all for joining me for this one. If you enjoyed, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. For now, I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay awesome.